Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start FlexPress 2. We're going to get that MySQL database working with Adobe Flex. Now there's a few things you need to do. Uh, the MySQL database and WordPress. We'll be working with WordPress today, and you, we're going to import WordPress database to our local server, and we're going to get Flex PHP ready. Now, you're going to want to get WordPress up and working and you need to watch one of my tutorials on open source software up fast with SiteGround. If you don't have a SiteGround account, uh, they're extremely inexpensive. Go ahead and get one. If not, if you have your own server and you want to use that, you can do it the hard way. And the hard way basically is just go get WordPress from the WordPress site, um, unpackage it, and go through the install procedure. That's fine. Uh, we've done that in the past. SiteGround allows you to do it just with a click of a button. You want to go ahead and download Mike's blog, my SQL, and it's on uh, Google Code. So let's look at Google Code real quick. So if you just go to Downloads, there's my blog. So if you don't have WordPress running right now, no biggie. But make sure you get that database so you can follow along with this tutorial. Okay. Uh, finally, you want to make sure you've watched uh, two YouTube videos on installing WAMP and creating a MySQL database and PHP MySQL Flex 3 client server application. Both of these tutorials will make what we're about to do today extremely simple. So let's get started. So last time we exported a MySQL database for WordPress and you can actually go and get that MySQL database if you want to use my example from Google Code. So go to Downloads and download the MySQL database for WordPress. Now if you don't want to use my uh, SQL database, go ahead and install WordPress yourself and uh, use your own. And once that's installed, let's go ahead and get that into our local WAMP server. Now if you look at the bottom of my screen here, I have the WAMP local server running. If I click on that, I want to click on, move that over a little bit. If I click on that, I want to click on PHP my admin. And what I want to do is go ahead and import this database. So, so the first thing I want to do is create a database. So I'll call this WordPress and hit create. And we see we have a database right here with zero tables. Let's go ahead and import the uh, Mike's blog database. So hit import. And let's navigate to that database. And click on that. And click on open. Let me size this so we can see everything. And click on go. And so now you can see that we've imported the database. Here's the 14 tables. And we can go now to Adobe Flex and get Flex PHP ready. So we're back in Adobe Flex. And there's a little bit of housekeeping we need to do here. Notice that we have three projects that are open. We want to close these projects because projects do absorb system resources. So let's close these. So I can click and select them all. And right click and hit close project. And now let's open a new project. Click new project. I'll just call this my uh, FlexPress. Proj. Okay. And at that point, you want to make sure you select as your application server, PHP. Go to Next. So let's put in our web root, which is C colon slash WAMP slash www and our root URL, which is HTTP colon backslash backslash local host and validate that configuration great let's go to next and next and finish and so we're good. We've got everything set up for PHP. Let's go to the next part. Let's go to data and go create application from database. And let's create a new connection. 
make sure you have my flex press project selected and let's create a new select new connection we we'll, won't be very creative here we'll just call it my flex press and you can go ahead and leave off description and auto connect since you will auto connect automatically anyway go to next keep this as local host and root and the database name. Now if you forget what the database name is, what you called it, let's go down here to our system tray. Let's click on the WAMP icon. Now if the WAMP icon is not showing, just go to the start menu and turn it on. And then go to PHP My Admin. And you can see the database name was WordPress. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, type in the database name, WordPress. Let's test the connection. Great. And now let's hit Next and there's some uh, summary data and finish. Now at this point you want to continue with the process. Let's go to categories. We can see that this now shows us all the 14 different tables in our WordPress database. So let's select a table to look at. Let's select WordPress post. WP post. And now we can sort. Let's sort by date hit next and finish and so you can see automatically a WordPress project has been generated for us we'll go ahead and run this and take a look at it and there's a number of columns here you can go through those columns and look at them and in the next application we're actually going to be taking a look at this data and working with this data using a function which we call repeat so we're going to move on from there. Now that we have everything ready to go, let's go back and take a look at the code that was generated. So if you look at the bin debug folder and you go to the WP post PHP document and right click and let's open that up with a text editor. You can see there's quite a bit of information here that was generated and specifically you've heard me say in the last video where we'll be using this find all, insert, update, and delete, and count to work with our MySQL database using the PHP code here that was automatically generated. So what you've done in this tutorial is you've actually set up your WordPress database. We're actually ready to now start working with it and bring that data directly into Flex.